In this class, we are going to study what is the product of two or several sets. So this is an operation that we can do between sets. And remember that we already seen some application, uh, some operation that we can perform with sets. So there are two kinds of operation that we saw. Uh, binary operations and uh, unary operation. So among the binary operation, remember that we have the union, the intersection, and the difference of two sets. Binary operation means that uh, you take two sets and the result of the operation is also a set. And also we have unary operation. For instance, if you have a set, the, 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 the complementary of a set is a unary operation because you need only one input, a set, and as a result of the operation, you get another set. So in this uh, context for the product of sets, we will be still in the context of binary operations, and of course, then we can generalize that to multiple sets. But let's see first the definition uh, of the product of two sets. So the definition. So consider two sets, A and B. The product which is also called cross product or Cartesian product of A and B is A cross B which is defined, so it's a set, so we have to define which are the elements of this set. So in this set, we find ordered pairs, A, B, so basically elements which are uh, made of two elements, A and B, where A is in A and B is in B. Okay, so it is important to remark here that this is an ordered pair, which means that basically, in general, AB is different from BA. Okay, so this is very important. So I want to show you that basically you're already used to product of sets, even if you have never seen this definition in, uh, in this way. Because one of the first examples is given by the real plane. So I don't know if you've seen this notation before, but basically we can denote the real plane like R square, which can also be written R, basically the definition of R square is the Cartesian product of R times R. Because by definition, as we saw before, this is the set of pairs, ordered pairs, X and Y, such that X, Y belongs to R. Okay, so remember when we work in the real plane, we can also see this geometrically. And basically here, if you have a point, this is defined by two coordinates, the X coordinate, I don't know, X not, the Y coordinate, Y not. So this, Two coordinates defined a point x not y not, which is an element of R square. 
Okay, so I have a first question and you will see that in these videos in general, I will have some questions for you. So the idea is that uh, I, uh, be, uh, after asking the question, we leave 10 seconds, but if you need more time, just stop the video, think about it, and then I will give the solution, okay? So the first question is a true or false question, and it is the following one. So in the set R square, so in the real plane, the elements one and two and two one are the same, true or false. Well, as I said before, these two elements, one and two, and two and one, they are different. And this is, can be seen very well on geometrically, because if we consider again the real plane, sorry, So when we consider the element one, two, this is the element with x coordinate one and with y coordinate two. So it will be this point, one, two. That's also color here. But when we think about two, one, we're thinking to the point with x coordinate two and y coordinate one. So as you can see, this define actually a different point. So more in general, we can say, so remark, or actually you can take this as a definition also if you want. So if you have two elements, let A1 be one and A2 be two, two elements of A cross B, we say, that A1, so these two elements are the same. So A1, B1 equal A2, B2, if and only if A1 equal, equal A2 and B1 equal B2. So two elements for being equal, they need to have the same first coordinate in some sense and the same second coordinate. Okay. Another example. So in this case, we're going to take specific sets that I'm going to define now. So consider, for instance, the set A given by the element 0, 1, 2, and B, the set of elements 0, 1, 2, 3. So very easy sets. And we want to see which are all the elements of R cross B. So we have so this is a set, so I open a curly parenthesis. And now for instance, for the first element Remember that I need uh, one, one element here in the left uh, from the uh, set A and one element, one element on the right for the, from the set B. So for instance, I, if I go proceed uh, in a ordinate, in a, you know, in a tidy way, I can start with zero and zero. And so I will get zero, zero. And then actually I can move the arrow in, in B and I will get, zero, one. And again, I can, I can consider now this third element of B and I will get zero, two and so on, okay? So now you understand the game. And here with, when the first coordinate is zero, I have listed all these elements. So now what I can do, I can move the second, sorry, the first arrow to the next element of A and I start again from the first element of A, okay? So I will get, zero, sorry, one, zero, one, 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 two, one, 
three, and then I do the same for the last element of A. So two, zero, two, one, two, two, and two, three. So as you can see, we have list all the elements and we have a total of 12 elements. So now I have a next question for you, which is the following one. Keep in mind the, the example we did, that we just saw. So imagine that A is a finite set with N elements and B is a finite set with M elements. How many elements will A cross B have? So these are the option, n plus m, n times m, or it is independent on the number of elements of a and b. Again, I leave 10 seconds. OK, so here, what is the current, uh, correct answer? Well, it's the green one, so the second one. So you see, you saw before, in, the, in the, the example before, we had three elements for A, four elements of B, and uh, uh, the total number of elements for A cross B was 12, which is actually three times four. And basically, you know, if uh, I have a generic element, imagine A, B in A cross B, well, I can choose A in uh, so for A and, and different choices. And for B, I will have M different choices. So basically the total of possible choices will be N times M. Another question for you. So which of the following are subsets of n times n? Select all that apply. So select all the subsets of n times n. So here are the options. So you can look to them in the, on the screen. And I leave 10 seconds. Okay, so let's go one by one. So is the first one an element of n times n? So I have to make sure that here for every element, so I have three elements, I have to make sure that both coordinates basically are natural integers, which is true for the first one, which because one and two are natural integers, for the second and for the third one. So the first one is a subset. So is n a subset of n times n? Well, no, because, uh, for instance, if I take, I don't know, the first integer, uh, 1, this is an element of n, but 1 is not an element of n times n. Because remember, here, an element is of the form n is a couple, okay? Which n and m integers. So, no, the second one is not a subset. Well, neither the third one, the orange one, is a, is a subset because for the second pair, I actually have here negative 3, which is not in N. It is an integer, but not a natural integer. The red one, uh, yes, this is a subset because remember that uh, the empty set is a subset for every set. And what about the last one? Well, this is not a subset. I can just say that these are elements of n, right? But in order this for be a subset, I should put parentheses here. So in this case, it's not a subset. OK, I have a generalization of this when we have uh, a product of a finite number of sets. So in the generalization, we can consider a product of a finite number of sets. So let's say that these sets are A1, A2, AN. So we define A1, 
times A2 times dot 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 times An to be equal, again, this is a set now of not pairs, but n tuples. So I will have in this uh, n tuples n coordinates, basically, a1, an, where a1 is in a1, and so I can say also a2, okay, I didn't put a2, but uh, an, an in an. Okay, so in this case, these are ordered antiples. Okay, so one last question before leaving you. So consider the cross product of n times q times r. And so I'm asking, what is an element of this set? Minus one, zero, one. 1 square root of 2, 10 over 3. 1,000 minus 1 half, 0. 1,000 minus 1 half, 0. So again, I leave you 10 seconds. Okay, so, well, the first one... This is not an, uh, an, uh, an element because minus 1 does not belong to n. What about the second one? This is also not an element because square root of, t, uh, square root of 2 is not a rational number. So this is not in Q. And the second coordinates, we know that it has to be in Q in order to be an element of n times Q times R. While the last one is an element of that cross product because... 1,000 is in n, minus 1 half is in q, and 0 is in r. So this is the correct solution. Okay, now we will have an easy quiz on uh, uh, Canvas, and I will see you in the next lecture.